Hello, Meoni here, and welcome back to another Mog Station preview for Final Fantasy XIV. This time, we're looking at brand new items added today for 26th of March 2020. Today sees the return of last year's Hatching Tide 2019 rewards and some new items, all available for in real life money. Firstly, the Spriggan attire from last year's event can now be purchased. This fully diable three piece outfit will cost you £2.88 in the United Kingdom, €3.50 Euros 50 in Europe, or just five US dollars. It's a great little outfit and one that you should definitely consider picking up if you missed it the previous year. I especially love the jacket as part of this. I've made quite a few glamours this year and last. With this, it dies really well. I would definitely recommend this since it's quite a affordable price. I know it's only three pieces, it's not a full five set, but you can definitely find some other pieces to go with this. And that's basically the heart of Glamour in a nutshell, isn't it? Finding stuff that goes together. It dies really well, like I say, and I highly recommend it just for the jacket alone. You can also get the authentic egg pile housing item from last year. This will now cost you £2.88 in the UK, €3.50 or $5.00. US Yes, that's a pile of eggs for your house that looks like this for the same cost as a diable three-piece outfit there. Hmm. Next is a set of five, so you get five of these authentic crown roast sets, or a set of five eccentric chocolate cakes. These will actually cost, you know it, £2.88 in the UK, €3.50 in Europe, and US dollars for a set of five of whichever item you go for. Five food items is obviously better than just getting one, but still, when food is the same price as a costume, so let's take a look at all of the new stuff then. Firstly, the brand new mount added today is the Spriggan Stone Carrier. This is an account-wide mount costing £13.80, £16.80, or just 24 US dollars. The mount features a large Spriggan who carries you around in his hand. Very similar to how the Gorilla mount will carry you, it features some incredible details if you look at this model, such as your character being perched atop a basket, sat here on a comfy pillow. A big bag of flowers is tied to the Spriggan's back, as well as two pieces of ore strapped to its belt. Two butterflies are nearby, one resting next to you, stretching out its wings, and one fluttering about happily in the air in circles near your character. When you switch to flight mode, both of these butterflies fly around, and so do these magical rocks that appear to help you with your levitation. These rocks also make a nice jingling sound as you move across the sky. It's account bound, so all of your characters on your account will get this, and any future created characters should get this in the mail. The mount music is the Palace of the Dead theme, it's better than just having the generic theme, but you know, maybe they could have put the Hatching Tide theme in or something like that. But it is really, really a nice looking mount for sure. So just briefly, let's read the text before showing the final two items off for today. Summon forth your Spriggan Stone Carrier. Lives to carry ore, eggs, and you. Grown to a prodigious size by virtue of its appetite, this Spriggan was choking on a chunk of ore when it was found and saved by a band of miners. Seeking to repay the kindness of men, it took to carrying their burdens, which apparently includes the men themselves. The hidden text reads, It must be so tiring, living each day carrying around a brain of solid stone. A quote there of Dezar. Great mount, great animations, what's not to love? Finally then, two brand new emotes added to the game. These will cost you £4.03 in the United Kingdom, €4.90 in Europe, or seven US dollars. You can get the heel toe emote that looks a little like this. And we can also get the gooboo do emote that looks like this. Both of these dancers are pretty entertaining and I always love it when they add more dancers to the game, be it in the cash shop or from things like Ishgard Restoration. I end up dancing for pictures and footage more times than I care to admit. So variety is quite a cool thing to have on my side at least. Uh, I don't know if everybody else actually uses all these dancers, but uh, they're pretty cool. Both are unique in their various styles, and I really quite like them individually. I think, though, if I had to choose between the two, a Goo Boo Doo would probably just win it for me personally, 
as it's a pretty hilarious looking dance. And there we go, the full list of the new Mog Station items with previews from last year and the new ones of this. It's a weird thing to still live in a world where food will cost the same as a housing item, and obviously it's an even more unusual world when those both cost the same as a three-piece diable glamour set with no gender lock costing the same amount there which is uh, quite interesting but i'm sure there's some reasoning somewhere to that we just don't know it publicly either way thank you all kindly for watching let me know what you think of these new items if you picked any of them up yet or if you plan to especially the new mount and i'll see you all next time